everyone, what is up, and welcome back to Sunfield's Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories Let's Play! Ha! Huh. Ah, oh, boy. This is a long run I'm actually doing, because I haven't... Or, I've been doing this since the uh, Rush mission, or the Rush video that I showed you all. I haven't saved or stopped since then. Um, I mean, I've stopped between video sections, you know, of... Uh, you know, after Rush, I took a little break and all this other stuff, but the game's been going, and... Uh, I've just, yeah, I've been going straight on from there. So, let's keep it going by getting on the Sanchez for the next Dirt Track time trial. Sanchez time trials. Now, uh, just to let you know, the Sanchez is an okay bike. It's not too fast and it's not too slow. It also ha handles better on dirt than the other bikes, but handling can still be a little hard at times, so be careful. It is also possible to make an additional $10 every time you ramp farther than 8 meters, and it'll show you how many meters you uh, ramped uh, after you make a landing. Okay, so course one, you must beat 1 minute and 55 seconds in three laps. Uh, this one is not that difficult. Uh, use a handbrake when needed to make sharp turns. I also su suggest not leaning forward on your bike unless you're absolutely sure you have a straight path to your next beam without any interruptions. Also make sure to level your landings as well with the ground. You know, it's pretty much all the same stuff I've told you before. Um, nothing really new here, but like I said, you're just on a new vehicle, which is the Sanchez. Um, but, so the courses I think are kind of longer just because Sanchez is a, the fastest vehicle you'll be on. So I guess I can make things a little fun, but uh, just to let you know that there are going to be 12 uh, trials you have to do with the Sanchez. So it is the longest running set of trials that you've done so far. And, you know, not so far, but it's just it's the longest set of trials. Because um, as you know, the quad bike, you had four with the BMX. You had eight. And this one, you have 12. So, yeah, just be careful. Try not to fall off your bike. Um, lean forward if you need to. Luckily, um, it, it is a little break from the BMX. Because you don't have to tap X. You can just keep X held down. Uh, see, 10 meters. I got a $10 bonus because it was more than 8. So, yeah, I guess a little bit of extra cash would be, you know, it's nice. Um, now, I, you do have to spend cash on some things. Careful for the tree. Thank you. But that won't be until much later on. Anyway, okay. Left. Going down. It's really not much. Really not all that difficult. Except just make sure you level your landings. This one isn't that hard. Um, it. Ow. I guess it's just a little funner because, you know, after having to work with the difficult handling of the B or uh, the uh, quad and the uh, stamina handling of the BMX Sanchez, which is just fast and smooth somewhat. It is easier. Okay, uh, course two, you must be one minute, three, five seconds in three laps. And honestly, this one is not uh, as difficult, or this one is not difficult as well. Just keep the same tips as, the, you know, what I said in the first course. Um, it really isn't that hard. I mean, there are some that can be a bit of a pain, but right now, luckily, they make the first couple of courses easy. Uh, right here, uh, make sure you do uh, sharp turns to your left. And like I said, just keep an eye on your radar because it'll have... You know, the bright pink marker will be the next one that you go to, and then you'll notice a dark pink uh, square on your radar that uh, signals the, or where the next uh, beam here, the next marker, is going to be. And of course, you really only need that for your first lap, but after your second, or when you get to your second or your third lap, then it should be a lot easier from there. So just follow along. Um, what else is there? Yeah, I guess there's not really much else to talk about. Yeah. My controller vibrates so much. <laughs> Anyways. You see, for that long path right there, you probably just uh, lean forward. And whenever you... You see the green marker marking the end, then you can go ahead and lean forward and just do a straight shot to it to make it a little little bit faster, give you that little bit of an extra boost. All right, okay, so now, uh, course three. You must beat it in two minutes and three laps. Uh, same as the others, follow the tips. Also remember, you can cut across the grass to make it to the next beam if there is nothing hindering your way. Uh, do not take the small, or do note to not take the small single mound on the south side too fast, because you'll have to make a sharp right right afterwards. So I'll show you what that means whenever I get to it. Doop. Doop. Remember, you can start turning before you get to the uh, marker. Just make sure uh, it's enough to where you'll slide into the marker. 
and uh, to be able to continue on from there instead of like overshooting it. And see here, you could cut across the grass right there, cut off some seconds. Uh, get your mound there. See where is that mound at? I think it's this one right here. Don't overshoot that because you'll have a sharp turn right there. I think that was the one I was talking about. Haha. <laughs> well, at least uh, the bike kind of followed me here. Even though I fell, uh, I still was moving forward along with the bike, so I didn't lose as, as many seconds as I normally would have. Or maybe that was the uh, jump at the start. Either way, just be careful of the jumps. Yeah, I remember seeing uh, on the internet a while back, it, it was a picture of this guy. I don't know. A lot of you have probably seen it before, but I guess he got in a motorcycle accident. I don't know if he was wearing his helmet or not. But um, uh, the entire front of his face is completely like shaved off from the road. And I guess he was still alive because he was looking at the camera and everything, but um, it was kind of after they cleaned him up just a little bit, but like all his skin and a lot of his muscles just kind of ripped away from the front of his face. And it was just completely bloody. Um, and his tongue, ugh, uh, his tongue was just hanging out. Because uh, I guess the his jaw, I don't know what happened to his jaw, but um, yeah, his tongue was just, it, it was almost like, you know, Kiss, uh, Gene Simmons, how his tongue could get, but it was like longer than that. It was just hanging out there. All bloody and everything, so... Ugh. Anyway, made that with just a second to spare. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> well, I still made it, though, so yeah. And course four. You must be in 1 minute 20 seconds of three laps. This one uses some small mounds and dips, so remember to level your landings and watch your path. Ugh. But I don't know, I mean... Do you kind of find that a little strange? Um, like, I've always kind of gotten in to all that weird stuff. I mean, you know how I was telling you earlier that like, I like a lot of the controversial things, and I guess uh, this is kind of one of, one of the things, you know, I don't know if it's really controversial, but it's just like a lot of the grotesque stuff. Yeah, see, that one you can speed up if you want. Uh, but, yeah, just like a lot of the grotesque stuff, like if just, well, what would you call it, uh, Rotten.com, that site. You know, not much seems to be changing on there lately, but, yeah, I used to love going to Rotten.com and just getting grossed out by all that stuff. I, I don't know, it's just, yeah. I mean, I'm not a psycho, okay? Trust me, I'm not a psycho. <laughs> but, um... I don't know. That stuff just kind of intrigues me, I guess you could say. Very intriguing. Very, uh... uh like, ooh, weird. Ah, uh, I, I like looking at all the weird stuff. I guess just things out of the normal. Uh, I guess it's just because I'm kind of tired of, um... How the world is somewhat... In a way, um... Okay, well... I'll explain course 5 real quick. Course 5, you must beat 1 minute 40 seconds in 3 laps. Another simple one. Just be careful making that turn where you have to go onto the bridge because you could miss it. But that's really it. So, yeah, there's going to be a turn where you have to go onto a bridge and everything, but just be careful with that. Um, but yeah, I guess I just kind of get bored with how the world is because it's just the same thing every day in this world. I kind of, I guess that's why I get into a lot of uh, fantasy games. Because it just takes me away from the norm. You know what I mean? The normal? The norm? Um, I guess it's why just getting lots of fancy games and fancy books, fancy stories, all that stuff? It, it's just, it's just something different, you know. Uh, great son. Uh, oh, that's just me, I guess. Uh, yeah, I think that one turn that I had done, I'll, I'll go up to it again this year. I think it's this turn right here that you have to be, kind of be careful of because the bridge is right here and you could hit the railing. Because I've done that before, I remember, and I had I've fallen and I had to run back up to my bike and then I eventually lost the this mission trial deal, I guess. But yeah, as you see, this one actually seems to be a little easier than the last course because you don't really have to hit so many bumps and risk losing uh, your bike. Alright, made that one. What was that one? Course 4, I guess? Or Course 5? Yep, yeah, Course 6. You must be 2 minutes 25 seconds and 3 laps. There is only one straight path during the course. All the other times you will either be in the air or turning. So don't lean forward too much during this run. Watch your turns and level your landings. So you're just going to be all over the place really in this one. And like I said, there's only going to be one straight path. Um, this entire course. It's probably not this one, but nah, it's going to be this one. See him turning, then gonna be in the air. This careful with this landing here because the top of that hill is a bit odd, I guess you could say. Now, this might be the course. Yeah. Oh, where is that straight path at? Oh, this is it, I think. 
This is the one you can lean forward on if you need to. There we go. And you can get your $10 bonus. You can lean forward and uh, make it over 8 meters for the jump. Yeah. <sighs> oh, let's put the jump and as you can see, whenever I get to this one, I used to I like to take that little bump there and ramp over the edge of the wall directly towards the next uh, marker. It just kind of saves just a tad bit more time. Uh, even it up. Thank you. Eleven meters. Oh, um, I guess another thing I can start talking to you all about now is, uh, well, I don't know if you all remember me saying that I was going to start vocal lessons, but my teacher canceled them. Or, well, she said she suspended them until maybe next year, uh, only because there's so many students that, uh, didn't show up, I guess, to the lessons. I mean, I showed up every time, but I guess she said she was just, there was just times where she was just waiting for, like, 30 minutes to an hour, um, and students just didn't show up and she got tired of it, so she completely canceled all of her lessons, even though I was paying for them, but yeah, that really made me mad. However, uh, just starting last Friday, uh, well, of course, by the time I upload this, like I'm uploading, or I'm recording this on November 20th, so it'd be uh, November 19th, uh, which is just yesterday, actually, but um, I started taking guitar lessons. So I'm going to start learning guitar, uh, acoustic guitar first, of course, probably do some classic rock songs, uh, singing along to them and everything. Who knows, I might post up a video of me doing something like that. Uh, who knows? Who knows? But it won't be for quite a while, though, once I actually get really good at it. Anyway, course seven. You must beat two minutes and ten seconds and three laps. Be careful with your speed on this one. There are some sharp turns, and when you go up the big hill, don't go too fast, or you may risk crashing into the wooden bridge on the other side. Also, watch out for the marker on the hill, because it will require you to turn right instead of going straight across. Um, I remember this one could be a bit of a pain, so uh, be really careful with this one. Here, I'll, I'll show you. Okay, uh, of course I'll just be doing your turns as usual. Try to follow the pink marker. Cut across the grass. Sharp turn right. I think this, is this the one that, yeah. Be careful with that one going too fast on that one because you could hit the bridge. Because you can see the bridge is really close to uh, where you would be landing. Watch out for that little bump there. Turn right. Now this is one that you need to be careful of. Uh, don't go too fast on here. You need to go right off that side into the next marker. And yeah, this is the this is the one. Not oh, never mind. That's not the one. What are they thinking? Ugh. But yeah, those are really the only two main things you need to watch out for. Is uh, this jump right here? If you go too fast, you get risk hitting that first bridge and falling off your bike, and uh, going up. Or, and careful with this little bump right there because if you hit it wrong, you fall off. Uh, and be careful with the second hill because you go too fast, you can get to the other side and you need to go down kind of to the right. So that's about it for this one. Um, just some things to watch out for, I guess. But that one you can speed up and uh, go as fast as you can. Same thing with this. But of course, make sure you have enough time to uh, turn right. But there are other moments, I think, other uh, laps where you will have enough time to actually speed up on that one jump with the bridge to where you could actually hit the bridge a lot more time, I guess you could say. Or have a higher percentage of hitting the bridge in a later course, but um, I'm not entirely sure. I don't really remember. We'll have to see when it comes. Course time! Two minutes! So, uh, ten seconds below that. 